Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique combat knife, Pikmin's Blade. To acquire this we will need to come to the location Pikmin Gallery. As we can see on the Pip-Boy map here, it is to the northeast of Diamond City. And if we get up close we can see it is to the southeast of Bunker Hill. And just a warning, this area is filled with at least 20 raiders. So be sure to come well equipped. Once inside Pikmin Gallery, we want to head up the stairs directly in front of us. Once on the second floor, head up the next set of stairs to the third floor. Once we reach the third floor, turn to the right through this doorway and head straight ahead, going through this hole in the wall behind the bookshelf. Turn left and follow this series of holes down to the basement level. Once here, we want to do a hard 180 to the left and head down past the pile of bodies and through the brick wall. Continue on straight ahead following the red lights. Once we reach this circular room, turn to the right and continue turning hard to the right and drop down into this tunnel. Once it here, jump down while doing a 180 to the left and follow this pathway through the water. Go past the first set of stairs and continue on heading straight ahead. Once we reach the blue bridge, turn to the left up the set of stairs and continue on following these stairs up to the left. Once at the end, turn right and follow the red lights through this hallway. Once at the pipe bridge, continue on walking straight ahead and head through the next brick tunnel. When in doubt, just follow the red lights. We will enter this larger room, head up the stairs to the left and then turn left once at the top of the stairs. Continue on straight ahead. At this red pipe, turn right, go past the red light, and at this pipe, turn left. And here we will witness three raiders confronting Pikmin. And if you want Pikmin's blade, be sure to assist him in taking out the raiders. Once they're dead, if we speak to Pikmin, he will give us Pikmin's key and tell us to go back into his house and look deep within the painting Picnic for Stanley. So once again, entering Pikmin Gallery, if we turn to the left and head into this room, this painting in the corner, this creepy, creepy painting, is the picture he spoke of, Picnic for Stanley. When activating it, the picture will vanish and it will reveal a safe on the wall behind it. It requires Pikmin's key to open and luckily we have that key. Along with other random loot, we will find Pikmin's blade. As always, before we look at the weapon stats, I have reduced all of my character's special attributes stats to one and I also have no bobblehead poke or magazine effects applied to my character so we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of Pikmin's blade. Now Pikmin's blade will always come with a stealth blade modification applied to it, so there's no reason to mod any further because we cannot. So Pikmin's blade has a base ballistic damage of 16, its speed is fast, its weight is 1, and its value is 143 caps. And as we can see at the top, Pikmin's blade targets bleed for 25 points of additional damage. An absolutely amazing effect! Check this out, we're gonna stab this robot and watch its health drain from the bleed effect. It's quite interesting that the bleed effect works on not only living enemies, but robotic enemies as well. It should also be noted that the bleed effect actually stacks. So if you say get four swift swipes in on an enemy with Pikmin's blade, they're going to have a damage over time effect that does 100 points of bleed damage to them. And don't forget that's an effect on top of the blade's normal ballistic damage. And the fact that Pikmin's blade has a fast speed pretty much makes it as effective as possible. Now as we know, Pikmin's Blade has the legendary effect that adds 25 points of bleed damage. However, the Stealth Blade modification that comes on it also adds a bleed effect that is not specified in terms of damage, and it also deals an additional sneak attack damage multiplier of 0.6. Not that it really makes a difference, but it is knife to know. So if you are playing a sneaky character and you want a melee weapon choice, Pikmin's Blade is for you, especially if you have the ninja perks to rank 3. Sneak attacks will do a 10 times normal damage plus the 0.6 times multiplier. And then if you add on to that already phenomenal damage, the bleed effects, you've got one hell of a knife in your hands. And you should have very little issues taking out just about anything. I mean, the bleed effect even applies to robots. It's an incredible weapon. It's fast so you can get many, many swings in, stacking on the bleed damage effect. It's light so it will not hinder you at all. And of course, its damage potential is through the roof. Pikmin's Blade will have your enemies on the edge. With speeds like that, everyone can get a slice of the action. You're right, I should stop dirking around and get to the point. Pikmin's Blade is certainly the best knife in the game, whether it's the best melee weapon in the game, I can't say for certain, but I can take a stab in the dark. And finally, Pikmin's Blade is any man's first pick when it comes to blades. And here it is in action.
been Campbell. I would like to thank you very much for watching and I do hope that this video helped you in some way in acquiring the unique combat knife, Pikmin's Blade. If you would like to see other Fallout 4 guides, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. Of course, this will take you directly to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides that I upload. Once again, I would like to shank you very much for watching and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there.